Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, day two to my trip. And uh, today's road is not very... Um, well, it shouldn't be very hard. It's long. It's 18 kilometers, which is... Uh, if you want to get it in miles, multiple... No, divide. Divided by 1.6, I think. Oh, well, you'll figure it out. Uh, 18 kilometers uh, on a ridge line. Uh, it's not a very hard walk. It's a kind of descent, decline, descent, decline. Decline? Inclination? Decline. Accent and decline. Accent. Well, you know what I mean. Go up, go down. Go up, go down. <laughs> on a ridge line. And uh, time is now 9 o'clock in the morning. I've been walking for about... No, two three kilometers and what amazes me every time I come to the desert is the quiet the silent I mean real silent it's not like um, you know like when you're in the middle of a forest and you got like squeaks and, and birds singing and wind is pushing and, and rattling the, the leaves the treetops you don't get it here. It's uh, if you hear a bird, you know, kind of squeaking. You can track it by sound because it's so quiet around here. So let me give you a piece of that quiet. That was a fly passing by. Shh! I'll shut up now. I'm walking with a with a bag uh, by an Israeli company. Kind of reminds you a little bit of an expedition. It's a little cheaper, uh, and it is uh, you can buy it. You can buy it in the, in the states. Uh, this color, coyote brown, you can't get it in uh, you can't get it in Israel. I had a friend uh, giving me, you know helping me a little bit to get it from their uh, warehouse <clears throat> but this is an army army model I'll make a review on it once really cool you can see you have like uh, places for your uh, antennas you know for radio and stuff like that really cool bag really nice and uh, <clears throat> this place around here is uh, filled with some, some stuff I don't want to picture but it's filled with uh, army posts and one cool thing you have above is the Big Brother. And Big Brother is watching It's got some hard time focusing on that huge sapling with all its gadgets and cameras and infrared stuff so yeah it's way up in the sky so if you're going to the toilet here and you don't pick your paper after we will find you 
we will track you down. <laughs> All right, enough bullshit. Um, I'll keep on walking and uh, I'll keep you posted. So uh, take care, guys, and uh, bye for now. Bye. So can you see that? That I think <clears throat> is an old Roman fortress, uh, like an army post, a small army post. And uh, I think that's where I'm gonna get my breakfast going because I'm getting kind of hungry. So, uh, sardines and bread, here I come. Man, it is so good to come home after a hard day's work and just kind of, you know, relax a little bit. So, Welcome to my humble house. Honey, I'm home. Damn. Think what it was back in the days to be posted here. In this little place probably were, I don't know, two, three soldiers. You can see some of the uh, some of the Dead Sea and the horizon. Not the best view today either. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out where uh, where the bathroom is around here. Then I'm gonna have myself some tuna and uh, bread. No time for smoked tuna. <laughs> well, I don't care. I love sardines. In tomato juice. little dose of protein good stuff guys bon appetit I'm gonna have a couple of those and then I'll be heading on the road again and I'll catch you later so guys your best option for finding some water, food, firewood and shelter would be those little creeks where uh, water used to run, the water uh, recently ran. You can see how, how lush green it is from up here. And I bet you can hear those little birds singing in the brushes as well. So you can get food, and you can get maybe water, or moist, or edible plants, and uh, you can also get some firewood for uh, warmth at night. However, sleeping in those creeks is very dangerous, especially in the Israeli desert, because uh, floods and flash floods uh, might uh, really hurt you. So just sleep higher, or, uh, or in a different place. Um, you can see over there, this looks like a really cool place to make a shelter, an emergency shelter. However, this is a fall. And you can see it goes all the way up there. And probably water are coming down 
and then into the fall and then into the creek. So also a dangerous place. You got to learn how to uh, read those signs and uh, avoid uh, sleeping there. So uh, I'll just carry on with my hike. I'm going to be keep on tracking this way. something something I want to show you I just want to show you something that will remind you of the movie 127 hours <laughs> check this out See this crack? Let me just. You fall into this dude, forget about it. Yeah, so, uh, I gotta be pretty close to the end, maybe an hour, I don't know, something like so, more or less. So, uh, there's a bunch of people here making a whole lot of noise. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll just uh, carry on without falling into any of those cracks. And I'll see you at the end. Well guys, there you go, water in the desert. There you go. You see them? Let me just whoa. get a little lower here. We got water. And I bet you that if you have to, have to drink, you will drink it. You know, basically, if you have to think about it and you know how to, you can boil it, then do it. If not, just bloody drink it if you must. So there you go. Got water in the desert, and I don't know when the hell this trail ends. I'll open my map and check it out. Uh, till then, I'll keep on walking. So, guys, I'm I'm pretty beat. Um, <clears throat> I've been walking for about three hours and almost four hours, and uh, I'm just about at the end. Uh, and that's why I did this preparation trip so I can time it but I was walking really fast <clears throat> I should have done this section in six hours not almost four I uh, didn't do much breaks and now I'm standing in front of my <laughs> what the hell last challenge and this is pretty nasty I mean the river ends here and I gotta start my climb over here. Not sure if you can see that. I'll try and show you. And then somehow I'm supposed to get There, or oh, the guy up there. So yeah. Oh man, let's do it. So guys, this is the end of my journey, and uh, buses are right over there. And uh, I believe my father is waiting for me over there. You can see this beautiful desert water, little ponds. 
So you can even go down there. So it's the end of a good day.